Hi, grade six and families. I am making another video to um, review my expectations for the upcoming assignments in Google Classroom. They are mostly review questions for the readings in the City of Ember, People of Sparks. Okay, this is the City of Ember book two in the series. Um, I'm looking for, as you're reading sections in the book, to answer 12 questions for each section. And there are seven total sections in the book and seven review question sheets for you to answer. Um, before we um, moved to remote learning last week, many of you that attended class on Friday, March 13th, um, did receive a sheet from me printed out that looks a little bit like, let me share my screen. Bear with me one moment here. Okay, the sheet that you should have received if you were in school on that day uh, from me was printed out and it looks like this, a review table. Okay, so on the front of the sheet, it says name, homeroom, date. Um, it says, it, this is for chapters one through 4.5 and it also has blank boxes on the front. Those blank boxes are for your answers. On the back of that sheet, we have um, my review questions that I have made for you based on the readings. Now the review questions sometimes are quotations and there is a page number. For those of you who are reading the ebook or the PDF version of this book, um, the page number might not apply to you um, the way that it would if you have the hard copy of the book, okay? But you'll still be able to locate where um, I'm referring to. And the way that you can do that is you can know that if you're starting at question one for chapters one to 4.5, you'll find question one, the answer to it, closer to the front, closer to the beginning of that section. Okay, so I haven't made it random for you. As you move through the questions, you're also moving through the reading at the same time. Um, so question 12 on your sheet down here will be closer to the end of that reading section. So closer to um, chapter 4.5. Okay, so that's what you can expect there. Um, now for the Google Classroom versions, they look a little bit different than the printed version that you may have received. So I'm going to locate it here. I see this assignment um, on one, two, three, four, five down. It says review table chapters one through 4.5. That is due March 19th, so in two days from now. Okay, there is a copy of a Google slide made for each of you. And on each assignment for the review tables, I write the instructions, the same ones on every assignment. And I also write the chapter and the chapter titles because some of the chapters in this book can be a little confusing. Um, we have a chapter 4.5 because we have chapter four and then we have chapter five, but chapter four and a half is the town meeting chapter. So it's between four and five. It's maybe not enough for a whole chapter on its own. Okay, so I do, want to make that clear to you as you're moving through. If I click view assignment, okay, on my side of things, I can see all of your work, okay? I can see what you've done, I can see your progress. Right now, because it hasn't been due yet, I have zero turned in and I have assigned it to 50 of you, really 47. Um, so if I click instructions, I can see a few things. I can see the instructions that I wrote here. I can see a rubric. And I can see um, the Google slide that I'm meant to fill out. I'm going to click on the rubric first. The rubric has three categories that I'm grading and looking at. Each box that you're answering and your question boxes is worth one point if you answer fully, okay? Um, so under complete, under question box one, it says reader has demonstrated a complete thought in their answer and has answered the questions fully by using additional resources, you can always use your book, um, whatever version that you have to answer the questions. This is not a closed book test. You can always have your book next to you. And a dictionary, you might need that sometimes when you're reading the book. Some of my questions are vocabulary based. If you have completely done that, you filled out the box in full thought, you know, not one answer, one or two word answers, right? It needs to be a full thought, a full sentence. Um, then you'll receive one point per box. 
there are 12 questions on each sheet. Therefore, there are 12 points available on the sheet. Um, if you have kind of not completely answered the question um, in the way that I was looking for, for instance, if a box has really two questions in one, um, sometimes that can look a little bit tricky. Or if I don't see a full thought, if you have just written down one thing um, instead of a whole sentence, like one word, then um, you would receive an incomplete for that box and half a point. OK, and obviously no attempt. That third category there is self-explanatory. It means that you haven't filled out the box at all. But if you have not made an attempt because you don't understand how to answer it, um, you can just write a note in the box for me um, as you're working through the questions. And that will let me know as I'm grading it that you need some extra help with that one. Um, now, these review tables, uh, there are seven of them in the next three weeks and we do move through them quickly. There are two assignments per week for English class, okay? There are two reading sections and two reviews right after you read. Um, I'm doing it at that pace, therefore we need to move on pretty quickly as we're doing online learning. I will allow you to resubmit a review sheet to me one time um, for a new grade. You'll always get a higher grade if you try a little bit more or if you put a little more effort in. Um, but I will not let you submit it more than once for a new grade because I do have more to grade after that and we do have to kind of move along, okay? Obviously, if you have accommodations or you need extensions to complete the work, if you're like, you know what, I'm feeling so overwhelmed with my reading right now, I'm behind and you send me a note, I will accommodate that, okay? If you need me to grade things a little later, if you need extra help, I will not be too strict about that. I will be really flexible, but if you if you are not doing the work, you will fall behind in the assignments, okay? So you do need to read and follow the pacing the way that I've laid it out. Because we're learning online, and I do have to be a little more strict with when you turn in work and when I give it back to you, okay? That being said, let's look at the Google Slide version, okay? We looked at the Docs version. I want to use Google Slides for this so that your Boxes appear bigger on your screen if you're working on this on the computer. So if you'll notice the Google Docs, it's like it's like this. And sure, that works okay. But the Google Slide version, the text is bigger for you to read, okay, for the questions and for your answers. There are 12 questions, as I've said many times in this video, there are 12 possible review questions, and I've made all these for you, okay? Um, and then there are 12 of your answer boxes. The slideshow, however, um, splits them up into six. So these are questions one through six, and these are your answer boxes one through six, okay? It's really important as you answer the questions that you make sure that you are answering question box one in answer box one, okay? The boxes are labeled for that reason so that we don't get mixed up between us in which question <laughs> goes with what answer, okay? Um, so we're moving through this. When you've done this, you're turning it in to me so I know that you're done, okay? The blue turn in button on Google Classroom is what you need to pay attention to, okay? Otherwise, I will not know that, it's that you're ready for me to look at it. I will still check it and I'll probably write you a note like, did you mean to press turn in button? But you need to be looking out for that button. You've used it before, okay? So I'm going to X out of these. Um, that's wraps up this particular video. I just wanted to go over the review because I knew there would be questions about it, okay? I will um, talk to you in the next video about QAR questions, and I will review the progress map, your game board in a fourth video, okay? Um, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen all together, and I'll see you in the next video. I'm gonna stop recording grade six, and um, I hope that you are able to do the assignments after getting this tutorial. Bye grade six.